Melissa. I'm Donna. I'm her mother. I'm a daughter. <laughs> and we're seriously MNG. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> and we are back from our vacation at the beach. And both of us have a little bit of a cold slash allergy slash nasal issue. Let me bend down. So hopefully so. Melissa doesn't have to cough. Or we've been, I don't have to cough. We've been hacking <clears throat> up nonstop. Yes. So, and we're very uh, congested and yes. so mm -hmm. please bear with us. Please bear with her. Please bear with me. She's worse. So, <laughs> so today what we're going to do is we're going to do a hair tutorial like we promised in our last video and I'm going to do my mom's hair and I'm going to show you how I would curl it, her bob, blah, 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 how I would curl her lob and then the products, some of the products that she's used in her hair and I'm going to put some of the products I've used in my hair and we'll show you the end product. And then also what we were gonna do is, cause I know a few episodes ago we mentioned doing a quick tutorial on how to put in the hair bandanas in your hair. So I was just gonna do that really quick at the end. And because, do you have one of yours now? No, I have, you just have like some... it's a ponytail, which these are really nice because oh, it already comes yeah. on the ponytail and it's already done, so you just oh, put it in cute. and wrap it around It's like little your... pebbles Flintstone hair. Thank you. Wonderful much. <laughs> so let's get started. Um, now, your head's gonna be chopped off, or yeah, I guess that's the way it goes. Yeah. So you guys, just, chop, I guess chop. I can. I guess I can. No, let. don't do that. And you, a burner. <laughs> okay. So first, I split the hair, and like I said in the last video, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna bend down like this. So like I said in the last video. Um, the bottom pieces of hair I don't focus on as much as I do with the crown because the crown overlays on the bottom pieces so you really don't need to go all out on the bottom pieces that's totally your preference if you want tighter curls or if you just want them loose and a wavy beach curl so and how many days did you say this was Dom? this is probably two days I think two days ago since I washed it and <clears throat> For me personally, I feel like curling dirty hair works better. I do have to say though, because sorry to interrupt, oh, rude, rude. but I do have to say that <laughs> I did walk this morning, first day in four days since I haven't felt well, but I did sweat and then I came home and showered, but I didn't wash my hair, I dried it, so it's got a little texture going. So I did put some products in. Sorry. Thank you for the update, John. <laughs> All right, so with, with the bottom, I just... Very simple. Like I said in the last video, I leave out probably like an inch or two of the end so that I can straighten them at the end. Uh, that's just all based on preference if that's what you like to do, but that's how I style my lob. So with the bottom pieces, I just curl, leave out that, you see that? Leave out that little end. And I used to be really weird about curling my pieces all the same way, but like I said in the last video, I feel that curling them different ways gives you a little bit more volume and the bottom pieces don't matter as much but when you get to the crown. Yeah, I watched a couple of girls do that so they would do it one way maybe clockwise and the next group of hair counterclockwise. And I will say, like we mentioned in the last video, using a wand, we're not like experts but you got to be careful because you can burn yourself like yep. someone has done. Like my poor Nick can <laughs> say. If it could talk, it would. And so I'm just gonna do, I actually, with the bottom hairs, I just do really thick pieces because, I, I, one, I don't have time to sit and do, like, curl every single piece of my hair. But, yeah, I, had, I don't know where I was going with that, but <laughs> that's it. Okay, we lost you there for a minute, but that's okay. Um, so if any of you hear noise in the background besides a fan, there's a little girl in there who's supposed to be napping and she's singing very, very loudly with a lot of energy. Yeah. But we don't want to go in there and talk to her about it. Can you hear her? I can. Don't start laughing. You'll start coughing. Um, don't start laughing because then I'll burn you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Then you start coughing, then we'll have to cut. All right, so very simple. And then now either you can either you can do it at the end with the straightener or 
in each as you split it off, but I'm just gonna spray it. We talked about this hairspray. Just spray it lightly. Okay, so that's, curls. that's a L'Oreal hairspray, yep. right? Yep, L'Oreal hairspray, under $5. And then the only reason, uh, this is real life right here, mm -hmm. like I have to get in the camera. So the only reason I straighten the pieces as I section them off is so I know exactly where I need to straighten because I've had times where I've done my whole head and then I've straightened it and then I'll straighten the curl out. And like I said, and like I said in the last that. video, once my hair is straight, I can't go back and curl There's it. No back going back. There's no going back. Okay, don't get crazy. We burn myself here. So quickly, I'm just gonna straighten the ends. Nothing special. I've never done that. But I'm just new at the whole straightening and the, the curling wand. Um, yeah, the curling wand is only a couple years old and it's, and when I watch myself do it in the mirror, because I've got that whole spatial thing and it's just so weird, I just, I don't know. It's getting, oh, sorry. <laughs> gee, don't need that left, that left eye thing. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to the crown. I, how do you split your hair down? You don't care? I have a part, yes I do, girl. <laughs> I have a part right here that my gray is sh starting to show, so. Okay. okay, so what I do, and I wanna say I learned this from Victoria too, she's amazing, but, so if your part, let me just get a little closer. If your part is on your right or left side, what I'm gonna say is, is move all the hair over to the other side and curl it that way, and then when you brush it out, put it back over to the other side and it gives it a little more volume. If you have trouble getting volume in your hair and you don't want to tease it. So since my mom parts it on the right side, mm -hmm. I'm going to part it kind of down more on the left and brush all her hair over. Sheesh. And then we're going to do the same thing like we did with the bottom. But now when we're doing the curls, we're gonna do them a little closer to the root, not to where you burn yourself, but just a little closer so that it holds the curl a little better around your crown. And the same thing, I go, well, I guess I don't have much hair over here. Oh, thank you. No, no I didn't mean like that. Like I parted it all over uh, here, so Don't I get too close to the part because then you can see a lot of hair missing. So, you have really pretty hair, Don. Stop it. Uh. Um, but like the same way, leave about an inch or two out. But tell me if you start getting a little hot towards the well, root. I don't want. I, I, do I don't want to burn. Pulling. So with these, as you can as you can see, compared to the part underneath, I don't even know if you can see. Now she is tighter. The curl. It's a little tighter. Mm -hmm. So, and that's uh, for me. That's what I want on the crown. So that that is what's showing and when you brush it out that's like the overlay on your whole head so i'm just gonna do the same thing all the way around her hair all right so after five to ten minutes the curls have sit, sat the curls, that? Mm -hmm. the curls have, have sat just they have they have sat okay <laughs> you got a wide tooth comb so then. i yeah. use this kind of comb or if you don't have this i just use my fingers but just gently curl uh, brush them out curl them out gently brush them out Calm them out. Calm them out. Okay. All right, and then now what I'm gonna do, since my mom said she did walk today a little, I'm going to put a little bit of dry shampoo in, and she uses the Pantene. Pantene. I like it. I, I like the Batiste. Batiste, I totally I to each her own. I do not love that shampoo. I don't so, I like that white film that it's cast. I know you're supposed to go like this and I do. Boy, good thing I didn't have my mouth open when you sprayed that. <laughs> I'd be gasping for air right now. Oh, that's good. So you're massaging that dry shampoo into the roots mm -hmm. so that it can soak up any oils that you may have in there if your hair's dirty. Yep. Or, yeah, not shampoo. And then, oh, did you want to put a little bit of that? Yeah, in? this is the Age, Be Age Beautiful spray. It's the root touch up temporary hair color. And you can do it, Melissa, because I'd have to stand up. And I don't How just, far away? Um, do you have to go pretty far away? Or no, you go close? not too close. Mm -hmm. And then do you rub it in? No, I just go. It just goes right down the part because that's where my roots are. And you kind of go like this, zigzag it. Oh. Yeah. And it cuts. Yeah. And that's it. Ooh. And then a lot of and times. And it smells good. 
you're, you're because the hair grows, you know, is to the root here, so it's tough and tricky because the gray hair will start coming up. So you, sometimes the color may get on your skin, but it, it comes off. <laughs> so can do you have to let that sit for no, a minute? No, no, no. You can just keep. Okay. No, I, wow, I, it looks really good. Well, I don't know because I always do it towards the end after like I hairspray my hair. I'll just spray oh. it, and it does act as a hairspray. So you don't have to put hairspray after you do that. Oh. So it does give you the cool. You know, Sally's got it going on. Yeah, that's that Sally. That's you know, that my Sally. friend Sally. And then this is the new product that I talked about last week, the wax, which. Honestly, I don't know how big of a difference it really makes. I feel like it gives my hair, like I said in the last video, a little bit more of an edgier look. So you can either spray it like right on the tips or what I do just because I'm, when, I don't want to spray it like farther up in my hair or by my root because then your hair is going to get very greasy. Oh, so okay. I'll yeah. just spray a little bit in my hand and then I'll just take the ends. And what does this do again? Just takes the frizz out? No, this just, it what gives it a different, texture? like a different textured look. Okay. Uh, and you know what? I need, I need a look. I need a look. So that's good. And then I know, I know last video we talked about teasing. It's not the greatest thing for your hair, but if you're going to use like a teasing brush, oh gosh, I got all those hairs on That's okay. But I don't think... I am so bad you with teasing. You don't need teasing. to tease your hair because it's okay. pretty. You have you have volume from the curl. Okay, hot dog. Hot dog. Hot, hot dog. Doesn't look, hot dog. Uh, uh, does it look good? Hold on. Oh wait, the parts on this side. Okay, that's right. Wow. Mm mm mm. All right. Almost volume. Hold on one second. Whew! I don't know what to do with all this volume. Can I go somewhere no. and show it off? No. Nope. Thank you. Like I said in a few videos ago, my hair, I've lost a lot of hair in the last, let's see, 10 years. It's thinning. So I try to move my part around a little bit. I know that's, you know, we're creatures of habit. So, will you turn that way a little bit? Yes, I will, Lise. So, <laughs> and just because this is real life, um, they're all, sorry, Mom. You know, watch that hot tool. There are parts that you'll have to sometimes go over because if the curl was brushed out too early, just touch it up. I and have to do this all the time. But isn't, you know, it's funny because whatever side, like I'm right handed. So I was going to bring this up in one of the other videos when we were talking about hair ye, hair ye. When I dry or do anything, style my hair, it always looks better on the left side because I'm doing it this way as opposed to this side. You know, this side always looks flat. But since you're doing it, it should look marvelous. Heck yeah. That's right. So, I, I know you can't see me. Sorry, good. <laughs> so, I'm just doing a few touch-ups. But other than that, it's a pretty easy root, hair routine. And everybody's different as far as how long your hair can go With without, the tool? without washing it. Oh. So, yeah. but for me, I can go for me. I can like go a week. Like, well, I'll go. Yeah, I go a week, but I can probably go three to four days and wear it down if I'm using dry shampoo. But once you start using a lot of the wax products, then it starts to get a little greasier. Hmm. So now Melissa being the hair expert, I am not, but you are turn, more turn so than I am. All right. So this is how I've been styling my hair with, I don't want to burn myself how I've been styling my hair with the bandanas. So, do you need a ponytail holder? I do, I got one. Okay. And um, a lot of the times I put my bandana in my bun and I just wrap it around and tie it. But I've been liking this style where you do like the half, you do a half pony and you just lightly put in the ponytail. I'll have to watch this because I have not worn my hair up in a bun because like I said my hair has thinned out so much and I got a bunch of it cut off. So, <clears throat> I mean, pretty simple. You're just ha par parting the crown again like we, we talked about when you're curling it. Parting the crown and then you're just going to grab your bandana and, oh, and then I just, I go under and, okay, so I go underneath the ponytail. I'll go and cross it over 
and do one knot. Sorry if I'm pulling your hair, Tom. You're pulling all eight of them. And, I mean, it's so simple. So turn your... That's, oh, you're not putting it in the bun? No, I can do that. Oh. I can show that. But, so that's like one look that, and I have it on my Instagram, I wore it in California. Yes, so I half up, and then just let these pieces hang down and okay. turn a little more. Yeah, so I think it looks so cute. So, oh, okay, I can do that. Yeah, so, super easy. Easy, easy. So, do you want me really quick? Well, I can just can show you, you guys in my bun. Okay. Or do you want me to do your hair in a bun? No. Yes. No? You don't need to. So. Oh. So, okay, so then you just press the whole law. So let me let me do let me do your hair, mom. Uh, so now I'm gonna try. Yeah, this is interesting because I was gonna say I I'm not. Done I'm gonna it. do. I do like the low point, like the low bun look with the with the um. So I'm gonna is that your phone? Yep. It's not mine. I silenced my phone. Excuse her. Okay, so again, super simple. Pull all your hair to the back like you're gonna pull it into a ponytail. And then do a few loops. I know I just did your curls, but that's okay. We know, so we know everyone wants to see this. You can, you can either do a ponytail or what I'll do sometimes is like a half bun. Mm -hmm. So you just, instead of pulling all the hair out, just, how do I explain this? Instead of pulling it out for the ponytail, leave some of it up there so that there's almost like a little bit of it fanning out at the top. And then you do the same thing, you get your bandana and you just wrap it around, give it a little knot. Now, ten. so that can be, that can be one look. To me, with this hanging hair with the bun, it's a little odd. So. For me, that's just my my point of view. It just the hangingness of it. So, I will tie one knot and then I'll go under, wrap it around, and then I'll tie it up here. So it makes the bandana shorter. Yeah, I would do that too. Mm -hmm. And then you just play with it a little, get it to how you want. But look at that little bun. Yeah. Like and then if big. you, what I like to do is. Um, if, you, if you have curls in your hair, if you pull some of these hairs out. A little wispies. Yeah. Wispies are in. But see, you have more hair so you can do a high bun. See, this is, this, this is like... That's cute. This is like a low Look bun. The, I'm looking. Okay, Whoa. now turn. That is so cute on you, Mom. Oh, that's nice. Thank you. So, that's there it. There you have it. I mean, I'm not an expert and I'm not a hairstylist for show, but... Yeah. <laughs> That's how I do my hair. I do like to utilize the scarves because it gives, instead of wearing a bun every day or, or your hair in a low pony or whatever, it gives it a different look and can give you one more day of unwashed hair because my goal, try to go as many days without washing my hair. So, and just remember that it's seriously okay, okay to, to be, be you. 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 Why? Oh, you. And you. And you. And you. Bye. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna keep this like this for another week.